Hello and welcome everyone, Michael here from Atavism team. Today in quick tutorial I'll show you how to upgrade your existing Atavism server to the latest release. Now just keep in mind you can do this only from the direct Provis version so in our case we'll upgrade Atavism server from version 2018.1.3 to 2018.2.0. The Atavism team released this version 2018.2 recently so we'll just perform this upgrade. It is a specific tutorial for the Atavism custom uh, installation so it is a scenario when you build your own server and didn't use our pre-built virtual machine. Okay, so first of all we need to ensure that the that the custom uh, virtual machine that we built it's running. In my case we can see that yes it is running. So we need to uh, we need to ensure that the that the server itself it's stopped. Here I have my hub document just with the old commands that you will need. But first of all we need to connect to the server. I'll use the putty client to go there. Okay, so I'll just try this here. Now we will log into server. Obviously you need to use your credential that you set up there. Now I'll we'll switch to the super user. Okay, I'm on a super user mode. I'll use the midnight commander. It will help us to manage files. So use the MC. And we'll go to the place where we installed our or we'll replace our files for the Atavism server and it's here in my case it's in a slash opt and here I can see that I have Atavism server directory I'll go to site and I'll go to bin now we'll press ctrl o and run the first set of commands just to ensure that the either if the system is running it will stop and if it's already stopped it will just tell me that it's not running okay so authentication server is down and the world server is also down okay so the next step is uh, obviously it is recommended and we highly recommend this to do the full uh, backup of your database so in this case we'll do the MySQL dump then we need to connect to the database using the user so minus u then you will need to enter your database uh, user minus p for password so later on we'll be prompt for password and then we specify which database we want to backup and this uh, small arrow will just just telling us to just put on this in this uh, file So in our case the file will be saved in the root of the root directory of the server. <laughs> okay, so the first backup it's finished. Next one is also finished. There are small backups. And then uh, the largest one is the word content. Okay, so we created all the backups, we didn't get any warnings here. The next one is we need to create a Atavium server 
files back up. So we'll go back to our Midnight Commander by Control O. Or if you already used a F10 to close it, just start Midnight Commander again. We'll go up to the the place where we have the Atavis server directory. And in my opt, I'll create the 2018 one three. So I know it is this version of the server there. And I'll just use the F6. Later on, we'll access this uh, backup just to copy the configuration file so that will just speed up the uh, restart process or actually just bring back so you don't need to type the again all the configuration on the two properties files to the configuration files okay we need to upload next one we need to upload the Atavism server file to to the server itself I'll use for that WinSCP. Okay, I have already run some tests initially, but just to be sure that I have the latest version, even size is the same. Okay, so the file is already on the server, we can close this window. We can go to my home directory, Atavism, and we'll just copy this file using the F5 cross. And when we move using the tab across to the opt directory, just press Ctrl O, and we'll run command to unzip. So. Zip Atavism uh, Okay, so the files are unzipped now and Like you can see here we have again the Atavism server So we'll go back to our opt Or in, the case, in your case it could be a totally different place it is, You just need to go to the place where you're starting the some server files. We'll go to the the backup server, and here we'll go here also, and we'll just copy this out dot properties and word dot properties. And use the F5 to copy. And yes, we'll like to override this. Okay. We are nearly there. The next step is uh, we need to import uh, updated uh, database files. The first one, the most important to bring this in proper sequence, it's the structure. So we'll go to the, on the server itself, we'll go to the SQL updates. And we have here information from Atavism 2018.1.3 like I mentioned earlier you can update only directly from the previous version so you just can't uh, just jump from version for example 2.7 straight away to 2018.2.0 uh, or any other releases unless it's directly after that so here we'll go to from and then we have two options we need to specify and obviously you know that initially when you build a system did you import the core version and did you use the system without the data or did you use the demo data in our case it was the demo data so we'll go here like I mentioned earlier uh, we need to go first of all update the structure there is only one file so we'll just do control O <coughs> and here we need to so it is uh, pretty similar uh, to the to steps that we have the on a backup it's, in this case we'll just say that uh, we'll just put on to MySQL 
files using the user atavismant password. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, so this part is done. Control O. <coughs> and we are in data. In data, again, you see the admin.sql. That's not a mistake. First of all, when we changing some structure of the database, you just can't uh, and try to import the data and then structure. The data will be imported to proper uh, locations in database, but if the structure is not updated, it will fail. So we already done the structure, so now it's time for the data. And there is a word content. <clears throat> okay, so everything looks okay. We didn't get any errors. We'll just press Control O and go back to the server itself. And here we'll go to bin, control O, and we'll perform just standard uh, start uh, scripts. We'll run them. First of all, I'll just clear this one. So we'll see better what's happening there. So first of all, we'll start the authentication server. Now we'll start also the word server. Like you can see here, Atavi server version uh, 2018.2.0. Okay, so we'll go to one of our Atavism projects and see if we can connect to the database. This one. I'm already logged into my Atavism server and using the Atavism editor. Well, it is still version 2018.1.3. Uh, later on you'll just need to download the package from the server and just update this. But initially we'll just go to database, perform just standard test, but all looks okay. So that's how you upgrading the server from the older version to the latest version. Just to remember you can do this directly from the previous version. If you have any questions you can contact with us on Discord. If you like, you know, say something to everybody, you can always uh, visit us on our forum. And we are also happy to support you through the email. So thank you for watching. See you next time.